It's a little chilly out there today, huh, Squeaks? <laughs> it's winter in North America. And even though we bundle up when we go out, it always feels good to come inside to get warm again. Inside, it feels warm enough to be spring or summer. At least, spring or summer here at the fort. There are some places on Earth that are cold all year long, even in summer. <laughs> yes, really, Squeaks. Places like Antarctica. Let's take a look at a map of Earth to see where Antarctica is. If we want to go to Antarctica from the fort, we would need to travel all the way down to what looks like the bottom of the Earth. This is the Earth's South Pole, and this is Antarctica. This is what it would look like if we could see Antarctica from space. All that blue on the map shows that Antarctica is completely surrounded by ocean. We can also see this white color over all of Antarctica. What do you think that means, Squeaks? Oh, snow is a good guess. Lots of the land in Antarctica is covered with ice, even when it's summer there. <laughs> Ooh, good question, Squeaks. He wants to know why it's so cold in Antarctica. There are a couple of reasons. First, look at this picture of the Earth. We can see that it's round. Sunlight that strikes the middle of the Earth comes straight down. If you were standing there, the sun would be beating down directly on your head and it would feel warm. But because the Earth is round, it curves away from the middle at the top and bottom. In places near the top and the bottom of the Earth, the sunlight isn't so direct. It's more slanted. That means the sunlight that reaches the North and South Poles isn't as strong as it is in the middle of the Earth. Since sunlight makes things warm, that means the temperatures at Earth's South Pole and Antarctica are cold, even in the summer. And the winters are even colder. <laughs> Why is winter colder? Let's look at the map of Earth again. Here are the poles. See how they're not straight up and down? Since they're the top and bottom of the Earth, we can tell that Earth is actually tilted a little bit. Because of this tilt, for part of the year, each pole takes a turn pointing away from the sun. And when this happens, it's winter at that pole. During Antarctica's winter, the South Pole points away from the sun, so it gets even less light than usual. And there are periods of time when the sun never even comes up. So Antarctica winters are very cold and dark. <laughs> How cold does it get? Well, Antarctica is one of the coldest places on Earth. In the middle of Antarctica, it's about minus 51 degrees Celsius or minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. Brr, that's colder than it ever gets here at the fort and much colder than even a freezer. But Antarctica can sometimes get even colder than that. In 1983, scientists recorded a temperature of minus 67 degrees Celsius or minus 89 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, that certainly does explain the ice we saw on the map. Almost all of the water on Antarctica is frozen solid into ice, and most of the liquid water is buried deep beneath the surface. This is one reason that Antarctica is considered to be a desert. You're right, Squeaks. Many deserts are hot and sandy, but what really makes a desert a desert is how dry it is. And Antarctica doesn't get very much rain or snow. That means Antarctica is actually drier than some of those hot, sandy deserts. <laughs> oh, interesting thought, Squeaks. Does anybody live in Antarctica? The answer is Nobody lives all year round, but scientists do visit and stay to study this incredible place. Thanks to their work, we know that lots of different kinds of animals live in and around the chilly ocean waters on the coast of Antarctica, like big elephant seals, sleek leopard seals, crabs, fish, terns, and seagulls. Most of the world's species of penguins live there too, including emperor penguins, the biggest penguins on Earth. Good question. What about polar bears? Polar bears do live in a frozen climate, but they live near the North Pole in the Arctic, which is at the very opposite end of the world from Antarctica. And although polar bears are great swimmers, even they couldn't tackle such a long swim. Plus, to get from the Arctic to Antarctica, 
they would have to swim through some warm parts of the ocean. And since polar bears' bodies have thick fur and extra fat to keep them warm in their frozen habitats, swimming in warm oceans would make them way too hot. So it's best for polar bears to stay nice and cozy in their Arctic home. And that leaves plenty of space in Antarctica for all of its amazing native animals. Speaking of cozy polar bears, I could certainly get a little bit warmer. Let's go have some hot cocoa. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here at the fort. If you want to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks, me, and all our other friends, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on SciShow Kids. <laughs> <laughs>